Hi, my name is Jane and welcome to my channel. If you crochet and or you like Taylor Swift, you must have seen this dress that is essentially everywhere now that Taylor has worn it. And I was thinking, why not recreate it? So I dove into my stash and I found the exact colors that I can use to recreate that dress. Without further ado, let's get right onto it. I am currently swatching using a 4.5mm hook. I'm using the same yarn in a different colorway because I have um, this left from another project. And so I am just going to use this to swatch. So I have my swatch here and I think it turned out pretty good. Four clusters per 10 centimeters. Three rows for five centimeters. So it should be around six rows for 10 centimeters. I am going to make the width to be 60 centimeters, which would fall roughly around here. For the length, I measured I want it to be uh, around 80 centimeters. And for the sleeves, I want it to be around 40 centimeters and the width to be around 40 centimeters also. So the sleeves are going to be a square and the front and the back would be a pretty much a rectangle but with a little bit of neck shaping on the front and a little bit on the back. Let's start. Because I want it to be 80 centimeters in length, I need four clusters each 10 centimeters. So I need 32 clusters for 80. That means I need to make 32 times 4, 128 plus 6, 134. This is around 15 centimeters because I want the shoulder to be around 15 centimeters before the neckline decreases. Let's start decreasing the neckline. To decrease, because I want the edge to lean inward, I'm only going to chain three. Then I'm turning my work and I'm going to create a cluster of three double crochets in the next space. This doesn't look like much yet, but as we build the decreases, it will slant inward a little bit more. To make a decrease on the end of the row, we need to make a double crochet and make it into the last stitch of the cluster below. After we make the double crochet, we're going to chain 3 and then turn the work. So we're just going to do these last two rows basically up to the number of the decreases that we want. to make my neck depth to be 4 inches so I need to make 4 more decreases. I just finished my neckline decreases for 10 centimeters. Now I'm going to make a few straight rows of granny stripe. I have finished my straight part of the neckline opening. Now I'm starting to increase the neckline. Because I decreased 8 cluster before, I need to increase 8 
to match the other side. I just realized as I'm editing that I already made one in Greece. So I'm making a swatch to explain how I did it. The first thing I did is I chained four. Three as a double crochet and one as a space. Then I turn my work. Then I make three double crochets on the first cap. After that, I just continue working the row until the end of the row. This is how the increase look like when working on the actual project. So we're going to chain 4, 3, 4, then I'm going to turn my work. And I'm going to create a cluster of three double crochets into this space right here. One, two, three. Now we have our increase and we just have to continue working for the rest of the row. To make an increase on the end of the row, we need to reverse what we did before. So we make a cluster of three double crochets. Chain one, and make one double crochet. Coming back to where we left off earlier, because this is an increase on the end of the row, we need to make three double crochets, one chain, and one double crochet, all in the same space. starting to look like a collar we have one two three four five increases now with this row right here and we're going to increase eight so you have three more after this row here and then just create a granny square rows without the increases or decreases this is how the finished front side look like. I made 12 straight rows, decrease for 8, 7 straight rows, increase for 8, and another 12 straight rows. And for the back, I did similar to the front, but with less decreases. I only did 3 decrease rows for the back. For the sleeves, I did 32 rows of 16 clusters. After I have all the pieces, I sew everything together. Lastly, I create a single crochet border for every edge of the dress. The single crochet border also helped me to hide all the raw edges. And the dress is finished. This is how the dress looks when being worn. I think it's really colorful and cute. To be honest, I kind of like it shorter, so I'm probably gonna wear it with some belt on. That's all for this video, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Okay, thanks for tuning in, bye.